There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Hey everybody, welcome to the Gearbox Precision Call. So great to be here with all of you. Uh, we are gonna get right into it. We're gonna take a look at the results, take a look at our one pair data results. We're gonna look at both our uh, original OG accounts and we are gonna look at also the uh, results from the 2.0 accounts. So uh, if we come over here to our one pair data, we can see USD CAD is still in the lead at the top of the profit, Euro USD. So these are our original accounts. We can see our best performing pairs. We can see the pairs that aren't the best performers. These are our data accounts that we constantly optimize around to improve Gearbox as a product. Uh, if we come over here now to 2.0 data, uh, we can see that USD CAD, since we started with Gearbox 2.0, is absolutely on fire. It is up 152% since November. Um, you know, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, coming in, Euro USD again, second best performer. So these are our two best performing pairs uh, right here, our USD CAD and Euro USD. You can also add a UD USD in the mix and some others, but when it comes to most activity, USD CAD and Euro USD are going to be your most active pairs. Uh, you know, you'll see AUD USD hasn't taken that many trades since November. It's added very little to the account so far. Um, Sometimes it takes a while to get some trades with some of these, but when they do take trades, they do very well. But again, EURUSD and USDCAD, they are our best performing pairs for Gearbox as a software. Uh, I saw some great results uh, earlier that were posted in the AP Legacy page, right? Uh, and in the AP Legacy page, um, Indrik had posted his results uh, that you know he's had using Gearbox with just uh, the best performing pairs. And it's been... Um, Pretty impressive. The drawdown stayed very low, and he's still doing about four to five percent a month uh, with just USD CAD and Euro USD on a Gearbox account. And his drawdown has stayed uh, below ten percent. I think the highest was seven and a half on that account so far for him since starting with uh, this updated uh, version and only using USD CAD and Euro USD for the last few months. So he's been he's been doing very very well. Um, so make sure to check out the AP Legacy page if you haven't. Uh, then let's go ahead and I'm going to just uh, pull up uh, a VPS and we will get right into it. Hold on. Oh, I don't know why that's happening. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's uh, let's go by pair by pair. Uh, we can see AUD Cat over here has gone ahead and got itself into some trades uh, on this data account. Not an ideal pair. Again, we run all the pairs on the data accounts just for data to optimize and improve the product around all market conditions. But we do have our certain pairs that are our best performers that we tend to stick to. Looking here, don't see too much. We can see CAD CHF was no good. Uh, CAD JPY, no active trades, no active trades on CHF JPY, no active on Euro AUD, nothing active here. 
All right, Euro JPY has some action. Again, I don't like JPY pairs, but we got some action there. We got some cells in the works. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a pretty good sell. Based on looking at this daily chart here, we are uh, in a pretty high range uh, for 2023. This goes back to 21. Let's go back in time some more. Oh yeah, now we're near a JPY sell. That looks nice. That's a that's a that's a pretty good one, I'd say. So love the swing trades. I'm a swing trader, so don't go take that if you're a scalper expecting an intraday trade. You might have to hold that one for a little, but that's that's gonna come down. Euro NZD, Euro USD, no action. Getting close though. We are on a sell three, which would have been nice to take that trade because look at that pump on Euro USD. Could have taken that and crushed it. Um, yeah, we would have entered on a four, so we we're getting pretty close to a gear four entry. We're on a sell three, so. If it had pumped a little more, we would have actually taken that entry. That would have been a great one to take. I would have uh, enjoyed that one. But, oh well, I know some accounts of mine are actually in that trade, so it's okay. They can they can stay in it. Oh, JPY, GBP JPY is coming back and making some profit here. That's nice. I uh, Let's see, why? where's all our history? Okay, so we can see we had some stop losses back in December on this pair, and then it's come back and had another stop loss, but made some money. These JPY pairs, they're tricky, but it's actually keeping up almost with its losses. So the new hedging engine is going to make a big difference for situations like this. Uh, with pairs like this especially, we're going to be able to start using some of these pairs uh, again on Gearbox when I add in... Uh, the hedging engine uh, from Trend Chaser. GBP NZD, NZD CAD, NZD CAD's had some gain this week. NZD USD. Got some gains this week. Now, NCD USD is actually a good pair to run, and uh, you can see Gearbox tends to always be pretty on point with some entries here. So, you know, for first thing on a big swing trade like this, we're looking to get the daily time frame. But look at that support through and through. Hit it, hit it, entry, boom, great, great entry, great move. Currently running in profit. Um, you know just killing it gearbox uh it, it's great at this usd cad we can see no entries sell to we we're getting close to probably getting an entry i believe here usd cad we would have been entering a three yep so we were pretty close to a sell on usd cad as well uh here with this movement USD CHF, no action, and USD JPY, no action. Now, NFP did have some bigger moves today, and as you can see, Gearbox, once again, unaffected by large movements. That's because we play the market safe, slow, consistent, and steady. Um, that's why we are the one product that has been here for multiple years, just crushing it. Uh, so with that being said, stay tuned for a lot more updates to come from our enhancements to gearbox with the new trend chaser and hedging engine to come and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your friday and weekend ahead